guys, Alec at the ranch again. Listen, we love deer. Deer, you know, the, the little animals that run around. We love deer. They're beautiful to look at. The babies, uh, the, the, the bucks, even the, even the big does are very, very beautiful animals. And they're really good to eat, too. Uh, so we are outdoor people, uh, raised in a tradition of hunting. We've talked about in some of my at the ranch videos about the tradition of hunting. We enjoy it very, very much. We're uh, we're very much sportsmen and and uh, legitimate hunters. That is, we harvest animals. We take just exactly what should be taken, no more. We don't waste them. As I say sometimes, we eat everything except the toenails. Anyway, we also love animals. So if you're an animal lover, or if you're a hunter or maybe have some other use for this, I thought I would show you the ultimate deer feeder. This is actually a deer feeder, that's what it is. And there are lots of these around, but not like this. At least I've not seen one like this, it's pretty neat. This is a sort of a combination of various ideas from other guys that have deer feeders, okay? So here's what I did. Instead of getting the standard four inch piece of ABS pipe and putting a couple of elbows in it and tying it to a tree and filling it with corn, I figured, heck with that. I don't want to be going out into the bush any more than necessary. Why don't I make a half decent one? So I went and got some six inch PVC sewer pipe. Comes in 10 foot lengths. This is about eight feet. This is what's left after I cut off the pieces I need. So this is a, a eight feet tall, just over eight feet tall, six inches in diameter. This will hold a lot. This will hold about a hundred pounds of corn. And that would probably last maybe a month. I don't, depends on the number of deer, doesn't it? So I won't have to be going out and filling it up every three or four or five days. And here's what you need to do. So you get your piece of PVC pipe and you buy an elbow right here, a T. It's called a T, although it's not strictly a T. You can see how it slopes like that. A T would be straight out. This is a, this is a, 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 a T, um, what's it called, a street T? I'm not exactly the exact term, but this is important. I, can you see this, Kev? How this doesn't go straight out, it has a curve to it like that, you see? And then at the bottom, you put a little, a short, a short piece of this pipe in there and then put a cap on it. And the smartest thing to do, I thought about this, it took me a while, is that bottom cap should not be glued on. This is glued to this and everything's all glued together permanently. But that bottom cap should not be glued on. Put a couple of screws in from the side. So you can take the screws out and clean out the bottom. Okay, the reason for that cap is the deer are going to eat from right here. And it's going to get water from the rain and stuff going in. It'll go down and collect in the bottom. And then every once in a while, you'll need to take that bottom cap off and clean it. Okay, so here's what we do. Fill it with corn. The corn comes down. And I'm going to take this off of here, Kevin. See, I took it, I think. I took a piece of that pipe, another piece, another foot long piece. And you see what I did? I cut a piece out of it. And then I just made a piece of pressure treated plywood, a cap for the end of it. I didn't want to waste the money. These fittings are not cheap, unfortunately. In fact, this whole deer feeder is not cheap. One of the reasons for using the standard four inch ABS and standard plumbing fittings is it's pretty cheap. You can build a nice deer feeder out of that with all new materials for, for I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. This is going to cost you quite a bit more than that, but I think it's worth it. So I took a piece of the pipe and cut a nice section out. So this is like a little trough, you see? Almost like a horse or a cattle or a chicken trough, but this is for deer. And the net fits in there, nice and flush like so, and that's it. I'm going to fasten a block to a tree, a nice piece of pressure treated 4x4 four four block to a tree. Set this on the block and put a couple of straps, a couple of tie wraps, tie wraps, a couple of uh, ratchet straps around the tree to hold it firmly in place. It's not going to go anywhere. Fill it with corn. Put up a couple of game cameras, motion cameras, to get, and let the deer enjoy themselves. And they can come around, they're going to help themselves out of this. The corn will go down, keep it full, and I'll come back every couple of three weeks, check to see the cameras, what pictures are there, what kind of deer we're attracting, and uh, keep the deer well fed and tasting good, ready for the fall hunting season. Or, again, if you're just an animal lover and don't hunt, it's a great way to feed wild, wildlife, or domestic animals for that matter. So there you go, my idea on a deer feeder. Maybe it's a little bit uh, overdone, <laughs> but I like it. It looks good. I might spray paint it up a little bit so it's not quite so obvious. Get it out to the bush. I'll let you know sometime in the future. Maybe I'll have some game pictures of some deer eating from the deer feeder, and I'll give it a little short video on that. We'll see how it works. Anyway, there's a couple ideas that I got. I'm making the ultimate deer feeder. Maybe there's some ideas in there that you can use too. Talk to you again soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Got to get out to the woods.